What's up guys, it's Jimmy back here on the King Shaka channel and today we're going to take a little break from my truck and instead we're going to be working on my Cummins engine here. Cummins, but uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to hopefully try to get this thing started on the cart for you and see how it runs and stuff. Just because uh, I need to take a little break and get this out of the way before I really start doing more stuff to my truck since this is taking up space and uh, there's a little bit of money to be made with this once I sell it. So that's what we're doing today. Hopefully get it running on the cart and show you. Here we go. Oh, real quick, and before we get started on this Project Cummins engine here, I picked up a microphone. So this plugs right into my camera and phone and stuff. So hopefully audio should not be a problem from here on out. I know my videos have been somewhat bad with the audio and they haven't been the greatest. So hopefully this fixes a problem. I'll drop a link if anyone's interested in this in the description so let's let's get started with the video before I delay anymore all right guys so like I said last video I had to get a starter for it so we got it right here I'm gonna bolt it up and then we should be ready to try to get this thing to start all right guys coming down here I'll show you what's going on took the batteries out of my truck right there and we got the Cummins all set up it took me a little bit to get this thing to, all ready to go and as you can see, I got fuel, it's got oil in it. I'm jumping both batteries just so I don't kill them. I'm trying to get this thing to finally start for the first time. So that's what that is. Turns out I bought the wrong starter. Doesn't fit quite right, but I made it so that it will fit with two bolts instead of the three, and it'll, it'll work just to get it started since I'm not keeping the, truck, or not keeping the engine. But uh, we're gonna give this a go. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but look at this starter smoking a little bit. Probably won't worn out, piece of shit, but I might have to go get a new starter. I'm not sure. I'm going to let it cool down, give it another try, and see how it goes. It's getting fuel in the return lines and stuff, so it should be ready to go. It's just not cranking fast enough. And my batteries are good. Both of them are good. They're basically brand new batteries. So... I'm going to give this one more go, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to go out and get another starter, uh, send this thing on its way, and let it get running. Alright guys, so after a day of cranking it, I finally got it to start. I had to switch out some injectors, because those ones that were in there originally were bad. Luckily I had another set, and uh, took a lot of cranking. so. It starts now though, easily. Yeah, so as you guys can see, it starts right up, it runs really, really good. So that those ejectors were the problem. I just, as soon as I swapped them out, it started right up. Because I knew there was something wrong with them, because I was getting fuel in the return. And I was like, man, this thing's not going. So I was like, I have another set of injectors, let me throw them in. And it works great. So next step is going to be to power wash it and stuff, clean it up, and then hopefully get it for sale. Can't leave my truck out of the video for too long. Look at that. That wheel setup still didn't give that back. I'm gonna give it back eventually. Just wanted to show you it real quick. 